What's up, y'all? It's your boy Daquan. Uh, appreciate everybody tuning in. Uh, this video today is going to be about how I came about joining the military, how I came about joining the Navy. Um, most of you know, some of you know, maybe don't know, I don't know. Um, I used to be a professional boxer. I boxed from the time I was competitively, from the time I was nine years old until I was 20. What was I last year? 26? Yeah. Um, retired last year in 2019 and joined the military. Um, my professional record as a boxer was 17 and two, made it to be ranked as high as number eight in the world um, by the WBC specifically. And yeah, amateur, I had nine, 10 national titles, I think. Uh, amateur record was 207 and 12, uh, competed all over the Americas little bit out of the country uh, I had a chance to compete for the 2012 I had a chance to compete for a spot on the 2012 games um, at the time I was ranked number three in the nation and I was trying to get the number one spot uh, end up not getting that and decided to turn pro before the so it's a full year 2011 there was a 20 end of 2010 to mid 2011 there was a full year of competitions that could qualify you for the US Olympic team I went to the first tournament, I lost that one, and after that I was like, you know what, screw it, I'm turning pro. So I turned pro, ended up signing with Al Heyman, uh, like the most powerful boxer manager in the game. Signed with Al Heyman, did five years with Al Heyman, then uh, got out of that contract, signed with Golden Boy Promotions, did two years with them, I think, something like that, and then decided to retire. Uh, yes, I left money on the table. Yes, I could still compete if I wanted to, and physically anyways, but I'm not there anymore. This is not me. Uh, I wasn't really motivated to fight anymore. I had, I guess, lost my drive for it, uh, lost my passion. Not, I, okay, I, I take that back. I won't say I lost my passion. I just outgrew it. I outgrew boxing. I knew I wanted to, and I was capable of doing much more and many different things, not for myself, but for the community and other people. And boxing just wasn't the platform for me to do those things in the ways I wanted to do them. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, so I left that behind and decided to join the Navy. I've always been in aviation. I like aviation and I like uh, everything about the sky. I love everything about the sky, especially astrology and, you know, stars, moon, all of that kind of stuff, space. Um, so I definitely want to get into that kind of stuff as I progress through my naval career. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, joining the Navy was a pretty easy decision for me. I <clears throat> went down, decided, well, once I realized I was done with boxing, um, well, I'll take you through the whole story. 2017, had my daughter, um, getting ready to, I was in like the middle of my career trying to figure out what I was doing in between contracts and ended up signing with Golden Boy. So had a few fights in them, final, signed a four fight deal with them and I competed in three of the four fights. And yeah, I was like, do I want to do this? So after my third fight with Golden Boy, which is the, my last actual fight, the one that I actually lost that fight by points, um, after that fight, I was like, I don't think I really, before that, going leading into that fight, I was starting to have feelings like, I don't really want to do this anymore. Um, and then after the fight, I was like, I don't really want to do this anymore. But at the same time, I was in denial. I was attached to the lifestyle that boxing gave me and things of that nature. So I was a little bit in denial. So I decided, you know what, let me take some time off, figure out what I want to do. And in the midst of me taking time off, I was like, you know what, no, no, I want to fight still, I want to fight. So I jumped up, moved, I was like, you know what, I need a different environment, a different space to like rejuvenate my mind and my spirit and just get me going again. So I jumped up, decided to move to Houston on like an impulse. 
Moved to Houston. It was one of the... Uh, ultimately, at the end, I guess it was a good decision because it brought me here to the Navy. Um, so it got me out of Orlando, got me out of my space, and got me uncomfortable in a way, but it's, uh, in a different environment, around different people doing different stuff, and it was cool, it was fun for a while, and then I got bored. And then I was like, I was going to the gym as well. I was sparring guys and training. I was like, yeah, I want to fight, I want to fight. After about a month or two of training, I was like, I, 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 it kind of hit me and I came to acceptance and realization that I don't want to do this anymore. I want to do something else. I don't want to do this anymore. So I said, forget it. And I left it behind. And yeah, so stopped going to the gym. I was probably out of the gym, just like being a normal person for like three or four months. And then I got bored of that. And I was like, you know, I can't. Well, I didn't get bored of that. I came to the realization that I can't just sit around and do nothing. I have to start and take initiative to do something towards what I want to do for the rest of my life. So, uh, <clears throat> started looking into different avenues and the Navy was one of them. So, ended up joining the Navy and well, going down to talk to a recruiter, look at my job options and I knew I wanted to work in the aviation field or the space field in some kind of way. Uh, the Air Force was not as accepting of me for Whatever reasons, I'm not sure. Whatever, we'll get into it another time. But the Navy was what, you know, open with me, welcomed me with open arms, and I decided to join those guys. Well, us decided to join my fellow shipmates. And yeah, went down to MEPS in September, early September. And well, I went down in July and took the test of 19, took my uh, MEP, my depth test, my MEPS, uh, not MEP, but ASVAB, and uh, went back down in September to actually join and shipped out for boot camp December the 16th of 2019, graduated boot camp February 15th. And yeah, now I'm in Pensacola in A school, training to be an air traffic controller. So... It's, uh, it's been a cool, fun ride. I'll tell you one thing, to answer any questions anybody will have about me and my previous career, I am the happiest I've ever been in my own career, in my own space, with myself. Like, this is the happiest I've been in a long time. Like, I'm finally in a place where I can, not to sound cliche or commercial as hell, but I'm in a space where I can I don't want to say it, but it's the best way to describe it. I guess be all I can be. I know that sounds like so cliche and like commercial, but it's the truth for me anyways. So, uh, yeah, man, like giving me the opportunity to like lead other people and, you know, be just reach different, different pinnacles, you know, every day, every week, every month. Uh, so I would definitely advise anybody who's looking for a different platform to, you know, doesn't mind working hard and waking up and just doing what you got to do to get to progress every day. The military is where it's at, man. It's not very hard. Um, it's all, it's as hard as you make it. I'm not going to lie to you. It's as hard as you make it. So if you want to just wake up and go to work every day and do something like really cool, like, like some cool jobs, like maybe got some real cool jobs is I would definitely advise it for anybody. I mean, it's not the same as going to college and, you know, waiting to get an education than waiting to get a job. You're signing for your job, then you're gonna go to school and learn your job and then do your job. Like, it's, you know what you're gonna do. Um, <clears throat> the hardest part of my military or Navy career so far has been I don't even know. I guess learning the chain of command every every to, to, to the different places you go. That's like the hardest part. Like putting in faces with names and remembering those. Like anytime you actually see them. Other than that, like the Navy is not very hard. Like it's just read and learn, learning. You know what I mean? Read and remember. But other than that, I mean that's my whole story. That's me. That's why I joined the military. That's how I joined the military. And yeah, next video I'm half of you guys is gonna be my boot camp experience. I'm definitely going to have that coming 
this I'm gonna have it I'm done I'm gonna have it done this weekend. I have it done this weekend and we'll put that out. So until next time, like, share, comment, uh, subscribe, let me know what you think, let me know what kind what guys you wanna talk about, what you guys wanna talk about, what kind of content you want. And yeah man, till next time.